What's up, YouTube? I'm here with another video. And today, we're going to talk about the big news of D'Angelo Russell heading to Golden State on a four-year deal. He's signing a $117 million contract with the Warriors. Um, shout out to Adrian Walsh because he's been reporting a lot of accurate stories. He's been reporting a lot of news that's been transpiring within the last past 24 hours. A lot of us are trying to keep up. And um, I will tell you guys, man, keep your notifications on his Twitter because... He's releasing so much information, and a lot of deals are being made. And this deal right here was, this one was left field for a lot of people. This one caught a lot of us off guard. I thought D'Angelo Russell would go to either the Knicks or would have made sense if he went back to the Lakers. Um, but, you know, him signing with the Warriors, it's it's a little bit of a question mark because a lot of us are wondering how is he going to, he would fit in his first season with Clay being gone, but the idea of you know Clay coming back, you know where is that going to land Russell? Um, a, a lot of questions about that, and you know this might be a strategic move for the Warriors to to grab D'Angelo Russell. Keep, you know they're probably going to keep him for two years and probably trade him for another asset. That's what I'm looking at. That's that's just for me, just thinking futuristically. Um, the Warriors are going to try to keep Clay. Curry and Draymond, the Warriors are going to keep that core and over time try to develop pieces around them. But I just think D'Angelo Russell was, was probably a move where they, they're signing him just to stay relevant, to make the playoffs for next year and, and keep the keep this roller coaster going, man. And uh, <laughs> just when we thought the Warriors was going to die, man, they just came right back and pulled this move. And um, I heard, uh, you know, Kevin Durant's camp helped uh, Russell with this deal and um, it's happening. Um, a lot of us are shocked, man. I thought he would go to the Knicks or he would go to possibly the Lakers and, and team up with LeBron. But this is big news. Um, you guys tell me what you guys think. Do you guys think Russell is going to stay there for the whole four years? Or do you think he might get traded maybe mid next next year? Who knows? Um, it's just a big question mark. But he deserves the money he's he's getting. He's getting 117 mil I think he he definitely deserves it he was an all-star last year he put the Nets back on the map actually competed in the play in the playoffs even though they got knocked out in the first round he brought them relevancy to enter the playoffs with no expectation everybody was just hoping that that they at least made the playoffs and you know it was a good run uh, he was an all-star last year he averaged 21 points with seven assists so you know, that shows it all that, you know, he's worth a, uh, maybe, well, see, the thing is, I think a lot of teams passed, they didn't want to give him a max deal, and that's why he ended up going to the Warriors, because they offered him that, because a lot of teams, I think, would not have gave him that much, um, for whatever reason, maybe because he's young, or, you know, a lot of people are really listening to what Magic said about him, but nah, man, he definitely evolved into a, a way better basketball player when he first came in as a rookie so you know he's 23 years of age 6'5 he's a solid point guard and I definitely want to see what he's going to do with the Warriors um you know possibly maybe if anything this is just hypothetically but maybe when Clay comes back Clay could pro possibly move into the small forward position and you know it's Clay is what 6'7 he can play that position and he could actually guard that position at, as well. So maybe in the future it could be Curry at the one, Russell at the two, and Clay at the three, and then Draymond at the four. And, you know, that can maybe be the core piece right there. And, you know, let, let's just see what happens. Uh, you know, uh, it's it's a big question mark, man. It's a lot going on, and I don't understand the move. You know, I, I just think he's only possibly going to stay with the Warriors for like two seasons and then they're probably going to trade him. That's what I think. But you guys let me know what you guys think. Um, is he worth the max? Let me know if you think how long he's going to stay with the Warriors. Drop a, a like, drop a comment. Uh, let's get some dialogue and um, stay tuned. Subscribe for more, more content on the way. See you guys on my next video. Peace.